Today I'm going to speak to you about manifestation. I'm going to share with you some top secret information from CIA research to do with manifestation. A couple of years ago it was released to the public. It was declassified. And as you know, the Alkistis method is a combination of Greek philosophy plus the latest in science and technology. Bridging these two, we have results in our life. We're able to manifest what we really want and become the person we truly are. In other words, to fulfill our potential. This is going to be a very exciting episode. You're going to learn how to use the power of your mind for getting the results you want in your life. Let's get started. In 1983, the CIA did a classified project that would research consciousness, the nature of reality, and how manifestation works. It was called the Gateway Process. It was researched by the Monroe Institute, which is still taught to this day. This classified project was made declassified 20 years ago, and here's what they have to say about manifestation. I was baffled at some of the details that were found in some of this document and how much in depth it goes into manifestation and how it works. As a science nerd, I love learning about the science of manifestation. Um, I've talked about the law of attraction, I've talked about the consciousness of the universe over the years, so you know that this is an area that I research along with Greek philosophy. The fact that the CIA did the research it shows how serious manifestation actually is because it's not just woo woo it's not like you create a vision board and you you know just will attract it instantly so back in those days the soviets were making many advances on human consciousness on explaining things scientifically i believe the americans wanted to catch up with some of this russian research yeah this is why they invested in the gateway process so as you've seen some of my past videos have been about the nature of consciousness and that we are living in a simulation i included teachings of plato and science as well i was saying in these videos that nothing in this reality is physically set because nothing rests, everything is always moving. Nothing at the subatomic level is fixed. It's not set. Everything is empty space. This is the law of vibration. If you could shrink all the solid matter of the universe together, and if you really shrink it, put pressure on it, the only solid thing would be like the tip of a pin. Everything is empty space. And that's how we can manifest. So on page 22, 23 of the Gateway Process, they talk about this technique called patterning. So now I'm going to read from the CIA document directly. Beginning quote, patterning. This technique involves the use of consciousness to achieve desired objectives in the physical, emotional, or intellectual sphere. It involves concentration on the desired objective while in a focused state extension of the individual's perception of that objective into the whole expanded consciousness and its projection into the universe with the intention that the desired objective is already a matter of established achievement which is destined to be realized within the time frame specified. This particular methodology is based on the belief that the thought patterns generated by our consciousness in a state of expanded awareness create holograms which represent the situation we desire to bring about, and in doing so, establish the basis for actual realization of that goal, 
Once the thought generated hologram of the sought after objective is established in the universe, it becomes an aspect of reality which interacts with the universal hologram to bring about the desired objective which might not under other circumstances ever occurred. In other words, the technique of patterning recognizes the fact that since consciousness is the source of all reality, our thoughts have the power to influence the development of reality in time-space as it applies to us if those thoughts can be projected with adequate intensity. However, the more complicated the objective sought and the more radically it departs from our current reality, the more time the universal hologram will need to reorient our reality sphere to accommodate our desires. Monroe trainers caution against attempting to force the pace of this process because the individual could succeed in dislocating his existing reality with drastic consequences. End quote. So what does that mean? In other words, you need to feel that you have already have it. You have accomplished it. And this particular methodology is based on the belief that the thought patterns generated by our consciousness in a state of expanded awareness create holograms which represent the situation we desire to bring about and in so doing establish the basis for actual realization of that goal. So basically it talks about the holographic nature of reality and that you can project whatever you want to create outwards. But it gets even better. Once the thought generated of the sought-after objective is established in the universe, it becomes an aspect of reality which interacts with the universal hologram to bring about the desired objective which might not have occurred under other circumstances. In other words, this technique of patterning recognizes the fact that since consciousness is the source of all reality, our thoughts have the power to influence the development of reality, to co-create it in time-space as it applies to us if those thoughts can be projected with adequate intensity. So feeling and emotion is the key. Let me give you an example. So many, many years ago, I used to live in Germany where the weather was just dreadful. I love the people, but the weather was dreadful. And I used to wake up every morning visualizing that as I'm waking up out of bed, I go swimming in the sea. And upon repeating this visualization, feeling it on all levels, over and over and over again, slowly my wish manifested. However, remember what I just read to you from the CIA Gateway Process paper on page 20 to 23. It says, the more complicated the objective thought, the more radically it departs from your current reality, the more time the universal hologram will need to reorient itself or recalibrate itself into our reality sphere, what you're actually living, in other words, in the present moment. So it will take some time to catch up. This would explain why some of the bigger or the biggest things that we try to manifest take more time. Now, is it possible to manifest rapidly? Absolutely. But here's what the Monroe Institute and the Gateway Process in, and the CIA have to say about forcing manifestation. And this is huge and very important. So, because you see so many people saying that 
oh, you can have that thing any time of day. You know, you can instantly manifest. I don't believe that that's true. And I think that people who share that view lack wisdom and are completely ego-based. Monroe trainers caution against attempting to force the pace of the process of manifestation because the individual could succeed in dislocating their existing reality with drastic consequences. So in other words, if you push too hard, it can ha it can backlash. It your actual reality can uh, break or fall apart uh, too quickly, and this will be uh, uh, dramatic for you. It will not be pleasant. You can say it's like pregnancy. Okay, we all know that a, a child takes nine months to uh, manifest into our physical reality. So imagine you believe that that's just a limiting belief that babies take nine months or eight months, the gestation process. And you decide that, oh, you're going to do it in three months. And you, you know, induce birth prematurely, say, at three months. What's going to happen is it's not going to be good for the baby. It's not it might not even be good for your own health, your the mother's health. More, the further away the, what you're projecting in the hologram is from your current reality, the more time this universal hologram will need to reorient its, itself and manifest. So this is where detachment comes in. It's like you know that that thing has already existed in your future. So you can calm down and relax. It's like you know the end of the movie. You know what's going to happen. You are going to manifest that thing. It's already happened in the future. So you can just chill. For example, if you know that you are going to be a multimillionaire from an application or some uh, you know, business that you decide on, if you've already projected that and you work on that projection and you see that it's already manifested in the future, you can relax here in the present and just go through the motions. You don't have to be all stressed up, okay? It's like if you watch a movie and you know that the hero is not going to die. You're, you know, you you don't have to be all in anxiety throughout the film because you know that your hero will be saved. Um, or you know that you are going to be that multimillionaire, for example, through your... Um, patent or through your app or whatever business you you are in if that is for example your projection so you're going to know the outcome you're just going to be walking through the motions with perfect peace and stillness so this is the real key project the holograph project what you want to create in the deeply relaxed state where your brain waves are in alpha mode or delta mode as I again remind you that I offer that in the guided meditations when you practice my guided meditations in the online course um, you will have access to this uh, place where your brain waves are in peace and open and relaxed and therefore will induce and help manifestation of your projection of your hologram and believe me guys this stuff is being used i don't know why some of you have not used it i mean i've made my guided meditations available to you and the fact that you haven't downloaded them or the fact that you haven't joined the online course just proves to me that you know it's like you're living in the stone age if you're not using this stuff what are you doing? What are you just watching my channel and not putting it to practice for? Get with it. You have limitless power in your hands. The only thing that's limiting you is your imagination. So, again, I invite you to join my online course. I invite you to join my group coaching. And let's start practicing this stuff and really making a shift in your life.